In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to create Hibernate project in Eclipse. So I am assuming that you have already installed the Eclipse IDE on your computer and it is running. So my Eclipse ID is this. I am using Eclipse Luna M6 release 4.4.0 M6. So let me explain you the steps. First, create the Java project in Eclipse. Then second, download Hibernate library. Add jar files of Hibernate. Then add MySQL JDBC driver into the project. Create MySQL database and table. Create the persistence class with mapping information, that is entity class. Create the Hibernate configuration file, hibernate-cfg.xml. Create utility class for initializing the session factory. Then create example code to load the data from database and finally run the example. So create the project. File new. File new Java project. You can give any name, it's not the problem. Then click OK. So, Hibernate test project is there. Create the package. Then create a folder called lib. So in the lib folder, we will add all the library files of Hibernate. The next is to download the Hibernate library. Visit hibernate.org. Then click on more. Then we have download. 4.3.10 final click here so it is downloading here so wait for the download process so once it is downloaded move the file to a directory extract the content So OK, it is extracted now. So under lib, these are the required files that we should include in the project. Copy all these files, select and copy control C. Now we should paste the file in this uh, lib directory. Okay, it is pasted. So all the libraries we have now. And next thing is to add the MySQL JDBC driver file. You can download it from uh, MySQL JDBC connector jar file. you can download it from here I already have with me and I'll copy it from uh, another project so I just copy then paste here so this is the file in the project now go to the proper project properties build path add jars and then select all the jar files click ok ok then next step is to create the mysql database and table
okay i have connected to the mysql database create database I will test then connect I will test so tables we don't have any tables so I'll provide you the source SQL for creating the table so in a project we are using this employee table so this is the query to create the employee table paste here then semicolon ok so it is created and we have sort tables this Now we will write the query to insert the data into employee table. Insert into employee values one. Then second is employee name as Deepak Kumar. Then address Delhi and the number is phone number this is the phone number so this is one query so data inserted let me insert the another table data Ravi so we have the database table and the data next we'll create the persistence class with the mapping information so it is i already have this in a project so i'll copy it here and this is the employee class which is mapping to the employee table which uh, we have created now and uh, second field is emp underscore name third is emp address and third fourth is emp underscore mobile number and these are the mapping information means this is map this field is mapped to emp underscore name field this variable is mapped to emp underscore address and this variable is mapped to emp underscore mobile and underscore nos so this way you can create the entity class so entity class must have at the rate entity annotation then at the rate table annotation then primary key annotation and other annotations related to primary key then the columns mapping using the at the rate column annotation so entity class is ready now we'll create the hibernate c configuration file i already have it with me i will also provide you the source code so that you can download it from our website and instead of typing just straightforwardly use the source code and our database name is uh, hibernate test right So we need to change the database name here. Other information, username, password is correct. 
and next thing is to map the entity and uh, for mapping entity we should provide the this mapping tag here so mapping and the class name is net dot employee so this should present in the hibernate.cfc.xml file next is to initialize the session factory so for this we have a class called hibernate utility and i am copying here so this is hibernate util it contains the session factory which is private static final type and under static and under the static block we are initializing this session factory and this is the code to initialize the session factory and we are passing the hibernate.cfc.xml file which is hibernate configuration file like this and finally getting the session factory there is a method called get session factory in this class which will return the instance of session factory next is create the example code to load the data from database so uh, hibernate hello world this is the java class we can use and this is the java class which is creating the session factory and getting the session factory from hibernate util class getting the session from session factory starting the transaction then creating a sql not sql it is hql hql hibernate query language then session dot create query pass the hibernate query lang query hq and it will return the query object and there is a method called query dot list which lists all the data from the database and we are printing here so right click it run as java application and it is printing all the two records so this way you can create simple hibernate project in Eclipse IDE. We have hundreds of tutorials on our website in the Hibernate section and you can go through all these tutorials and learn Hibernate programming language. Uh, in detail we have almost all the topics related to Hibernate in our website. So visit our website and learn the Hibernate programming here. Apart from this, we have tutorials on Hibernate, Struts, XML, Spring Framework, Java, Core Java, Advanced Java, then Testing Frameworks, Ajax, PHP, Java Server Faces, and so on. So visit our website and learn these tutorials. Also subscribe our YouTube video channel.